Hello and welcome back to another Hogwarts Legacy video. Today we're going to be going through all 26 of the field guides that you can find in the Grand Staircase part of Hogwarts Castle. And so for clarification that is this central section here with the largest tower. So it is comprised of the Trophy Room, Grand Staircase Tower, Ravenclaw Tower, Quad Courtyard, Lower Grand Staircase, and Grand Staircase areas. There are 22 of them that you can get relatively early in the game, at least as early as you can uh, start unlocking doors. And then four of them are going to be locked behind Story content so we'll get to those at the end but uh yeah i'm just going to show you the exact location of how to find every single one of these i do it in a path style so if we're in one area i won't go back to the map every time i will just show you how to get you know as many of them as possible in a short run i find it makes it just considerably easier to actually find them quickly so uh before we get to that a quick word from this video sponsor the holwick wand company today's video is brought to you by the holwick wand company the link for which you will find in this video's description if you are a harry potter fan and you've always wanted to have your very own own wand, not a replica of a character's wand from the movies, not some cheap plastic crap from a sweatshop in China, but a genuine handmade solid wooden wand, then the Holwick Wand Company is the answer to your dreams. Every single wand is 100% custom and handmade, so no two will ever be the same. Each wand is hand carved from only the highest quality wood and guaranteed to be from the exact species as advertised. Other custom wand companies crank out the same identical designs or buy birch doubles in bulk before turning them on a lathe, but not the Holwick Wand Company. From the selection process by their master forester to the crafting process of their master wand maker, every step is completed with diligent and loving care and attention to detail. So if you're in the market for a new wand, check them out today. Again, that link is in the description. And now let's get to the video. Revelio. Revelio. I enjoy having lunch down by the lake. Revelio. Revelio. We shall get naked to the other. Alohomora. Revelio. Lumos.
How inconvenient travel was before I invented blue powder. Revelio. Revelio. Lumos. Revelio. Accio. Revelio. What if he sticks like this? What? Don't be silly. It's all wear off in a few hours. I got Levioso. <laughs> Lumos. Revelio. Revelio.
Good fringo. Akio. Confringo. Akio. I'm most pleased to be included. Alright, and so the next couple field guide locations I unfortunately can't show you here because they're locked behind story progression rather late in the game, and I don't have a save that I can get that from or any footage to show you, but it is relatively easily explained. So we are up by the headmaster's quarters way at the top, so if you've gone past the trophy room and gone all the way up, I showed you how to get a couple. This right here was one, and then there was a butterfly or moth painting right there. So we've been up here before. So once you get to the Neve Fitzgerald's trial, which is one of the main story missions rather late in the game, you will gain access to the headmaster's tower so you'll be able to get the password and go through here and that is how you get uh two more field guide pages are up in the headmaster's chamber and so i can't like i said i can't show you it uh, right here but it's rather simple right when you first get into the into his office just cast Revelio, and there will be one right when you first get up to the top of the circular staircase which this is you're going to enter a room in cast Revelio on the you'll see a clock and an armor set and you'll get a Revelio page right there and then you just walk through the doorway to your right into an adjacent room and you'll be able to cast Revelio again, and you'll get another one by a chair and table on the right side of the room, and uh, that will be another Revelio page that you'll be able to collect. Then after you've collected those two, there's going to be a door on the left side that you go up, and you have to climb basically all the way to the top of the Headmaster's Tower, so you'll be going on an, a staircase on the outside of the building. Up to another room, you'll have to use Alohomora to get through the door. Once you do, there's going to be a key inside that room on a table. You need to grab that key, and then you come all the way back down here, down through the circular staircase and then we're going to head down to the end of this hallway and you're going to open this door and then you're going to climb all the way to the top of this room and then up at the top you're going to cast Revelio on a there will be like a room with a pedestal in the middle with a book and a quill writing on it and you're going to cast Revelio there and you're going to be able to collect a field guide from that location. All right and so for our last location on here for our last field guide we're going to want to click on the grand staircase then you find the lower grand staircase flu, tra uh, flu powder travel and you're going to want to travel there and then we're going to go down these stairs and immediately to the right you'll notice this uh, burning brazier right here and this piece of wall here with an outcropping. Now to get in here you have to have completed the shadow of the study quest. It's one of the quests that you'll be able to start that involves Sebastian Sallow and so you can either find it while you're in there or then anytime after that quest you can come to this location and re-enter Slytherin's script and then once you're inside there you're going to cast Revalio and there will be a field guide page for Slytherin Scriptorium. So that is the last of all the field guide pages in the Grand Staircase section of Hogwarts Castle. Like I said, you can't access some of these until you've progressed far enough in the story and I just don't have a save that's at the spot for me to show it right now and I quite frankly don't have the time to rush through the entire story just to get to it. But like I said in the instances that I've shared with you here at the end all of these are easy locations to get like once you're to that point in the story they're really easy to find the pages because they're inside small rooms where you don't really have a lot of spaces to miss them. Uh, and they're all Rebellio pages, which makes them even easier to find. So that's all for today. Uh, I hope this video was useful for you. I'm sorry if the end of it inconvenienced you in any minor way, but that's all for today and we'll see you next time.
Thanks for watching another Dare to Game video. If you liked this video, please leave a like and a comment. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to the channel. If you like my content and would like to support this channel, consider becoming a member today for as little as $1.99 a month. It makes a huge difference. But in any case, thanks for watching and have a nice day. I'll see you next time.